happy my husband. You know, he is that person who does not give up. And if he means to do something, he do it to the end. He said no. And he, when he started, he make it it's complete, no matter the time. So he, is, he inspires me a lot. Like now when he started this now, he does not care how I manage it. It's all upon you do it. When you do it well, when you get to a calculation night, there you go, you have work to do. So they, he inspires me a lot. And I feel, why don't, you, why, why don't I be like him? If this is for me, let me do it to the end. Let me see how far it will take me. And us as a family. Because I like going with my whole family. <laughs> yes. And we have a name, the Kimaros. We are proud of that name, the Kimaros. Yes. It has been a journey of valleys and hills to get where she is now. She takes us through the process of how this looked like. As I have told you, it's a journey. We started with the 200 birds. They were 220. And we put them in that Kakaton brooder. Though we are lucky here, we have electricity, so we are using the electricity for the like uh, three weeks, four weeks, yeah, three to four weeks. And we had kept them in our house as the portal house was construction was going on. And by the time they were the fourth week, uh, no, the second week, one of the sheiks died. And we were worried, ah, what happened to the sheik? We later, we later realized that there were some, they were contaminating the feeds. You know, now we put the sahanis and the, the small whatever to Mabati for feeding. We didn't have the feeders. Though later we came to buy the, the sheep feeders. So they were contaminating their feeds because the, the, the space is small. So when they, when they pee and now they are praying with the, the, with the, the, the marandas, we put the, the sodas, whatever, eh, by product. So by the time they were contaminating, then they are eating, they get the disease called coccidiosis. So it was tough for us, but we thank God we have the, the, the veterinary from the Kenshik. By the way, we source our product from Kenshik. So we called them, the two does. Maybe it's the contamination, try to buy the feeders and also to enlarge the space so that when they are praying with the, the sawdust ashes, so they can also not contaminate the feeds. We tried that and luckily we only lost another two which were already sick, but from then, the other bats continued well, and they started growing. By the third week, the fourth week, they started now showing up that now they are portraits. <laughs> now they have feathers, they are growing up now, and we switched off the electricity. Now we started rearing. By that time, the, the, the fourth week, the pottery farm was ready. By the time the pottery was ready, now we shifted them now to the main house. And it took us like the, the first month it was okay, the second month we didn't have a big issue. But by the time they were, also they were, the, the, the third month also we experienced some issues, but I thought it was stress. We also lost some birds like, there were four of them, yeah, four. And it was tough for us because we couldn't know the reason why they were dying. So we had also to call the, 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 the veterinary again and we were following all the vaccination. And they told us maybe it was stress because the rears are very sensitive. If they get some weird sound or some funny, funny birds passing by, they get scared and they squeeze to one corner. So by the time they're squeezing themselves to one corner, some are not able to breathe. But from the night, the, from the 15 week, week, we were okay now, the birds are okay, they are doing well, the house is big. Now, uh, so now, okay, now we can, we can do it. <laughs> now the delicate part, it's over. And my husband told me, okay, me I was feeling just one day she can we let survive? <laughs> but now I can see we have already managed. And also we thank our mom and dad, they were so encouraging.
The eagerness of seeing the fruits of your labor is exciting. It was now finally time to tell if the hard work and sleepless nights she and her family had put in was worth it. Layers require a balanced feed of proteins, fats, minerals, and vitamins to start laying eggs. How would the layers perform once they reached the egg laying stage could only be told through time. 18th week, now we are eager to see how long will the birds take to start laying eggs. Because by the, by the third month, now the burden is heavy because of the cost of feeds. Because now like, they are eating like four bags a day. Uh, four bags in a week, sorry. And every bag is 2,500. So that's 7,500 every week. And we have only one source of income. So you have to sacrifice a lot. So we are very eager to see the, the, the 19th week when they start laying eggs. And I remember we were here. We had, because most of the time I'm traveling back to Nairobi for the market. So when we came, my mom told us, now let's wait this week. Let's wait. They start laying eggs. I think it was August, by the end of August, because we brought them May. So when we saw the first egg, it was so interesting. And we were very happy. We were very excited. Just one egg. And we decided now, now we can see now the burden is trying now to remove from our shoulders because now they can be able to buy the feeds for themselves. And we were very happy. Now, after they started the first month, we are there also feeding the birds. After feeding the birds, now from the 19th week, now the fifth month also, you have to ship in like half a month before they start laying, laying enough eggs to buy to cater for the feeds. And also the size of the eggs are very small, very tiny. So even if you take to the market, it's also a big challenge. Remember, even you've never gone to look for the market, so you don't, have, you don't know how the, the market will react. Though we had a strategy that we, where we take our eggs when the, the, the hens will start laying the eggs, but I remember that day as you we were excited, now my son told me, Mom, ah, now we got eggs. Now we get a lot of money. And it was, it was a breaking point like now, this one, now we've made it. And I remember now after that, after now the second month, starting being the third month, now they could be able to, to buy the feeds because they are in like six trays in a day. Every day in a week, you have like 42 trays. We should we, we sell like three, with 300 shillings per tray, at least it is 12,000. So at least it has started catering for the feeds. The layers began consuming more and more feeds, and this meant more money, especially with the increasing cost of feeds. For every bag of feed in Kenya, the cost has gone up by 50 to 70 Kenyan shillings. By the time it's, it has started laying, now also the cost of feeds goes up a little while. And also, they started eating a lot. Now, initially we were giving them three bags of growers. Now it's layers, layer mash, now it's four bags. So also the cost goes up. The number of bags goes, goes up. But it was so encouraging. And we thank God because we didn't struggle with the market. We were able to sell our product in Nairobi and it efficient well. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Challenges, as in any business, are always there. There are moments one can simply not go on or feels as if the mountains are too high to climb. What challenges did Elizabeth face? Most of the challenges in the agribusiness, in the poultry, where it specializes, one, it's cost of feeds. Feeds here in Kenya are very expensive. You realize that you might be able to buy the, the, the cost of the sheets because it's a one-off. But feeding them, the first month is okay because there are like 200 bags, we're giving them like one bag in a week. Then you go to two bags. Then the third month, you are going like three bags. The four months, you are going four bags. So you realize the cost is very expensive of feeds. 
Another thing, we have the challenges of the, to get a specialized veterinary for the poultry because here mostly are for the dairy cattle, so it's also another challenge. Another challenge also, maybe some diseases, not really, because if you follow the, prog the vaccination pro program, your birds are free. You won't have a lot of issues. Another thing of maybe challenges you have here and there, maybe it's the market. Because sometimes you realize the market becomes so saturated, the price goes down of the product. Otherwise, those are the. Ah, there are also another challenges of like when constructing. You want to construct the pottery house, also the cost of materials are very expensive. You realize you cannot be able just to, to, to say like, I'll just do just like a normal house. No, these birds are very special. You have to take care of them. If you want them to survive, you must make sure the pottery house is good, is well ventilated, and use a good material, also because of the security. You have to ensure that what you are doing, the pottery farm is well secured. So also th that's another challenge with the construction materials. Yeah.